What's going on, Pokemon Go trainers? Welcome to episode 200 of Lured Up, the podcast where we take Pokemon Go way more seriously than we do ourselves. Clearly, if we're at 200 episodes, Adam, can you believe it? I can, actually, because we love this game. We do. Or at least I do. I don't know about you. I think you just play it to. Uh, yeah. I think you just play no. it because you have a podcast about it. You know what I mean? But like, no, I love no. this game, so it's I play the opposite. It. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, two hundred episodes. episodes man. Congratulations! I was gonna say congratulations to you. Like this is this is a no, milestone. Seriously, uh, it really is. And and thank you to everyone out there that's that's been with us for uh, for the last few years. This has been uh, this has been awesome. We couldn't do it without you. And. Uh, you know, it's it's just a, a really cool thing as a podcaster to hit this number. So, yeah, thank you so much. Very, very freaking cool. Listen, listen, before before we get started, I want to give away a Professor Willow code. And, well, I mean, I'll, give the, I'll send the card, and uh, but I mean, I can send the codes if they want first. But I would like to give away one of the Safari Zone outfits, like the T-shirts, the code for that. Okay. And I can send the code, like, just, you know, I mean, the business card thing that they gave us. That and a Professor Willow code so you can get, unlock that research and this t-shirt. The thing is, you have to reply to when this episode goes live, that tweet, you need to respond with hashtag LurdUp200. And that will enter you in. Awesome. Nice. Okay. And when are you going to give it out? You should probably put a date. Um, December 1st. Okay. December 1st, the winner will be announced. We'll, we'll retweet it a few times. So, so everyone can get in on it. But Adam, that's a very good idea. I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm sure the community. But anyway, back to, back to the intro. (laughs) Lured up is part of the Pokemon professor network. Today is Friday, November 12th, 2021. I'm Ken. That's Adam. Yeah. 200 baby. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty, thank you all for helping us get to this, this spot. Thank you all for listening continuously. Continuously? Continuously. <laughs> yes. Or if, you, or no, if this is really your first time it. listening to us, welcome. We appreciate you too. So on today's show, we're going to recap the last week of gameplay. We had the start of the Festival of Lights. We're kind of in the midst of it right now. Things are changing with the event. We'll talk about all that good stuff. We've got the Swords of Justice. We have Mega Minetric. We had Chin Chow Spotlight Hour uh, earlier in the week. Uh, the second part of Festival of Lights, this is kind of the looming shadows slash with sh- light come shadow, whatever they're going to call it. Giovanni is back, so we'll talk about that a bit. Uh, there's going to be a tie-in for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. This is actually a really comprehensive event, so we'll kind of run through all the news there. And then this is probably morphed into a potential... Actually, this will probably be a poke the bear on the next episode, but... Uh, we had, you know, last weekend while we were in Philly, a bunch of Pokestops and gyms were added to the game, and uh, now they're gone, or, or most of them, or some of them. So we're going to talk about that whole debacle, and uh, we definitely want community interaction on this one. So we'll turn it into a Poke the Bear for next week. But let, let's start with, with our with our recap, Adam. Um, last week when we recorded uh, the last episode, it was a couple days before the start of Festival of Lights, so we were kind of like... Uh, you know, we were we were in speculation mode, but I was cautiously optimistic that like Dedenne would be enough to carry the whole event. And we were talking about how when a new Pokemon comes out, especially when it comes out on its own, a couple days into the event, you've caught your full almost of that that Pokemon, and sometimes it can dull the whole event for you. And then we also knew that on the ninth, a couple days ago already, that we were gonna see that, you know, some kind of shift in the event. With uh, with light comes shadow. That's kind of that that looming in shadows thing that we're that where we're at right now. Um, also known as the the time when you can TM away frustration. And Adam, I, I hope you're you're doing that. Uh, but Honestly, before I we did, did, you you did? Yes, I did. I got people rid of... tweeted at me. I know people I messaged got... us on Twitter. They're like they're like, can someone please remind Adam to use uh, TMs for frustration? I did. I did. I did. I got rid of I think twenty five or thirty of my charge TMs. I just went through um, the highest CP Pokemon and just kept like del- like deleting frustration. I was like, why does my Suicune not have like why does it still have frustration? Like, that doesn't even make sense. 
And then I was dude, like, Lugia I just honestly caught. just I was like, might as yeah, well do it. use it all, dude. That I put at frustration in the search bar, and just literally every shadow Pokemon I have because I have a you know a living shadow decks. I just started running from the top. Whatever was came up with that frustration, I just fucking TM next TM next. Like I just started. I went through 120 charge TMs, and I've deleted so many over time. I could definitely still use them. So I'll, I'll get them from all the raids this week. But um, I'm proud of you. Yeah, so many people were were concerned that you were going to forget again. <laughs> They're like, we got to tell Adam. I, and I, I noticed. I did. <laughs> Thank you all for reaching That's so out. That's funny. It, it did but, uh, uh, push me. All right. But what about the Dene? Did you, how, how often are you seeing this thing? And does, is this, did it have enough oomph to kind of carry it through the first week? I was genuinely surprised because all my Dedenis when I first was catching them was like 23 CP, 38 CP, 24 CP, 38 CP. It was like I was getting the bottom of the barrel, little tiny ones. And then I caught some that were, you know, three or 400 CP. And it was like, okay, okay. And they just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa! This one is twelve eleven. Like, there's no way. There's no way. This has got to be a hundred percent. Catch it! It's absolute garbage. And then all of a sudden, I see weather boosted ones. I'm get, catching like fifteen twenty seven. I'm like, what is this? Yeah, um, and that's and that's been increasing. Crazy. Yeah, it's it's honestly, I've been so excited. Like, I'm like, what is the highest CP I can catch? This is insane. Um, I did that's thought so funny. I, I did think that we had it in raids. And I have yet to see it in raids. See, it, it, it has not? been in raids. I have no, not seen it. No, it's in raids. I have not but seen thank, it. You should be thankful for that because it's like I've had people send me invites and it's like, really? Like, JC Picks sent me a couple and I was like, dude, all right, I'll do them. But, like, don't make a habit of this. <laughs> and, like, it's like uh, I'm good on it with raids. Like, there's no, there's really no reason for me. I've caught my fill. I've, I've transferred a shit ton of them. Uh, but I think that with this event starting and then a couple days later, they go into the, the shadow portion of it, which we'll go into the details of in a minute. I think it was like the perfect amount of time where like I didn't get sick of the Dene. You know, it was it was totally fine. It was in research also. So that was another way that you can get it. And I thought the balance was perfectly fine. And then now that we're in the shadow portion, We've had the TMing stuff. We've had increased rockets everywhere. We've had the Giovanni arc we'll talk about. So there was plenty to do outside of Dedene. And I think that the balance of this event so far has been fucking perfect. Now, the spawn it was pool, nice to all that focus. kind of stuff. It was nice to focus on Dedene. Sure. But sure. if yeah, I, I, like, I, I got to hang out with Casa de Cubone uh, from our Discord and we walked the town. And we spent like an hour and a half uh, just walking around fighting Team Rocket and catching Pokemon. It was awesome. And I don't think if I nice. didn't do that, I wouldn't have gotten as many like Team Rocket radars and stuff like that and played it as much as like, – because I can only do so many balloons, you know? Yeah, well, all the all the Team Rocket teams were, were shifted up a bit, so there's you know different Pokemon, so that's always I lost. fun to – I lost what? a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Someone told me they got like a double Snorlax dragon yes! or something. And yes! I was just like, what? Yes. I haven't seen that yet, but that's awesome. I was like, that's, oh, that's like amazing. Oh, getting walloped. It was awful. <laughs> no, that's so great. Oh, and Blitzel is uh, still in the wild. So that's cool. I know a lot of people are chasing that. Electric is in the wild. Um, I haven't had any shiny luck. I don't know about you. No, I think I caught a Nidoran female on my walk oh, wow <laughs> i was like are you serious right now come on i've uh i've really 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 been enjoying the double friendship this is probably the greatest fucking part of this event and it's amazing because all of a sudden these people that have been sleeping on gifts and all this shit are, are finally gifting so hopefully this will motivate them to continue the push but i have been fucking vigilant about sending out 100 gifts every day, which I have been, uh, and I was excited. I was able to send 105 gifts the other day because I sent my 100. I couldn't get any more from stops, and then later that night, I got five from my buddy. So I was like, oh, shit, 105 gifts I was able to send out, and I've been opening my 45 every day. So I've made so much progress with my friendship. Like, it's crazy. I am, right now, I am 10 days away, so five days with a double, from going best friends 
with 50 people at the same day. It's going to be fucking bonkers. I cannot wait. Like, that lucky egg is going to be fruitful, to say the least, for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Um, oh, and I do hate to say it, but we had the conclusion of the uh, the, the season-long special research. We know we, we've been shitting on it for fucking all season, pretty much. Um, did, what I, I don't know. What would you think? <laughs> um, it was still lackluster. Yeah, I... I I couldn't I couldn't tell I couldn't recant the story for you and and that that's a shame I just you know I know I could have paid more attention to it but I just I just fucking didn't I just didn't um, I'm pretty excited to raid the Swords of Justice I know ninety percent of my invites have been Terrakian has that pretty much what you're seeing in your area is that like what everybody's going I for have or is not it done blended? very many uh, Swords of Justice raids. I've done, I think, three or four Manetrics. I think last episode you were like, you were like, I wanted to go raids, hard. I'm do them. Listen, and I'm not getting, like, the only raid, I was registering my car, and I saw a Caballion, and I was like, Ken, open your game, Caballion. And <laughs> I was like, all right, great, I fucking did it. <laughs> and that was the only, that was, that's like the only one that I saw. Wow. Because now, wow. now I, now I work at a gym, and so, like, the only, stops or gyms i would say even like on my way like i can't like gather people around or like dude, stop for you a honestly rate. need but to i'm step on top of your, a gym your fucking s2 up dude so i know what? but i'm you on top to of a gym but if you add fucking 18 more stops to your s2 you could be at least get two more gyms to be in your perif so you could remote <laughs> You gotta work themselves, dude. Oh God! Listen, but, I'm just right, gonna need uh, you to open my gift. That's that's all I want, dude. We look, need to we just did our lucky again. trade. I know. We just did, we should unfriend each other for 90 days and then start over. Um, but no, I've been I've got some shinies during this uh, this time around, so I'm excited. I, I you know I needed Cabalion shiny. Uh, that was the only one I came into this event needing. I did get that. I've got two additional Verizian uh, shinies. I got two in one day. One on the Zoom call. Um, with everybody last week, so that was a lot of fun. Um, Chin Chow Spotlight Hour, uh, it wasn't too yeah. exciting for me. We've had yeah. a lot of Chin Chow. Yeah. It's, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, but uh, on Monday, they did update the blog to include, like, the second half of the event, this Looming Shadows continuation. Uh, but Team Go Rocket, TakeOver, Giovanni's back, all that good shit. They're making a big push. Uh, the team leaders have new Shadow lineups, which is cool. Giovanni has Shadow Lugia, and no, it's not the fucking Gale of Darkness Shadow Lugia. We, we talked about this Missed last Missed opportunity. Week. I knew it. Look, is it, though? Yeah. Is it? Because, yes. All right. Yes, it is. No, all right, wait. Because because so, they could have played on. into hold this. Hold on, hold Why, though? Why would they? It has nothing to do with Team Rocket. It honestly doesn't even have anything to do with the main story arc of the game. It was in a spin-off game, Gale of Darkness. It wasn't Team Rocket. It was Cypher that had the the fucking Shadow Lugia. It, you know what I mean? Like it it, it doesn't didn't tie into the story at all. And I hear people saying like in the main series, Lugia's black. And it's like no, it's not, dude. This was limited to the fucking XD zero 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 one code name, whatever the fuck it was from Gale of Darkness that Cypher had. So it's like it doesn't even fit the main series. I know that Pokemon Go is like a multiverse in the Pokemon world, but does it look cool? Fuck yeah, it does. But like, I don't know. I don't think it. I don't think it necessarily would have fit. If if there was a cipher reference some way somehow, then then sure. But I don't know. Mine mine has fifteen attack. That's all I care about. The rest of the stats are shitty, but it has fifteen attack. So I'm good with that. I'm good with that. But yeah, like Adam said before, make sure you uh, TM your Lugia. So, yes, you know. yes, I was very glad yeah. that I did that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, but we, you know, the uh, oh, Vullaby is also available in field research, and the shiny was released, so that's pretty cool. Um, if you remember, everyone was like Vullaby and in, in research breakthroughs, you know, the November research breakthrough. It's like, well, now it can be shiny, so adds a little bit more value to that. Um, but at the end of the blog, they asked the, like this open-ended question, like, will Le will light defeat shadow, blah, 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 dot, dot, dot. And they've since released like a, a subsequent tweet saying like, light has pushed back on darkness and blah, blah, blah. Team Rocket will be withdrawing, but they're still, you know, in, in increased numbers. So they're making a little bit of a narrative out of it. What does it mean? 
I, I don't know what it means. Do you think there's going to be more story here, or is this just like they're, you know, eventually the Team Rocket takeover will be done, and that's all they're getting? It'll at. probably just be done. <laughs> <laughs> They'll just be like, uh oh, uh, they went away. You defeated them. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> and we have uh, they've warned us for a while to make sure we we do complete the special research before the uh, the end of the season, which is the end of November, because then it would unlock an additional Hoopa based special research that you could pay five bucks. If you don't finish it in time, you still want the special research. You could pay for it. But if you complete that before November or December 1st, you, you unlock this other thing. So make sure you complete the shit. It's super easy. What do you think of Niantic? Because I think this might be the first time that they've done this. I don't know. But allowing you to pay five bucks to unlock the special research that you can unlock for free as long as you complete the prerequisite. I I like it. I like it because it gives somebody that didn't have the chance the chance to get it. If they really want it, if they really feel like they're going to miss out, you know what I mean? Then they can they can pay for it. But why why should they get the chance? That's my argument like that. That should be like. Like you, it's like buying a warp zone, you know, to skip the line. It's like fuck. Yeah, dude, but no, they missed out on all of the rewards that they could have gotten. No, no, because they could still complete that special research. Special research ain't going anywhere. They could still complete the other one. You know what I mean? Really? Special research doesn't expire. It might be harder to do because in the next season there might be, you know, P- Pokemon that you know aren't available or something like that. I don't know what the last fucking steps were. But whatever they offer you for five bucks, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, but what about Giovanni? Like, I don't know. What's the platinum to defeat Giovanni like fucking a hundred times or some shit? Like, <laughs> are they going to make this more regular of a thing? Because this was a long gap since the last time we saw Giovanni. Months and months and months. Yeah, we're gonna need to. They're gonna need to eat, in, increase this because. I don't know how I feel about not giving us Giovanni more. Okay. Cause it's weird. The, the it's ultra- weird. Like, like battling a bunch of team leaders and like not getting the super rocket Raider often. Yeah. Well, the, the ultra hero metal, that's the Giovanni metal. It calls for him to be beaten 50 times. If you've beaten him every time he was available up to this point, we're at 13. Wow. So it's like, that's, a, that's, a, that's a long way it's to go. Unattainable. It's a long way unattainable. to go. Unattainable. Uh, but anyway, uh, just to give you an update on the team leaders, uh, Arlo uses Gligar, Cliff uses Grimer, and Sierra uses Nidoran. So those are your three potential Shadow Shinies. Uh, and of course, Giovanni is, you know, Persian, but yeah, Shadow Lugia uh, is the one. So fucking shiny Shadow Grimer is pretty fucking awesome with the red eyes. Looks amazing. The Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl event that we're going to talk about next, that starts on the 16th. So does that mean that the Team Rocket stuff will end on Monday the 15th? Or will they butt it right up against Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and have it you know, just start on the 16th or end on the 16th? I don't know. But uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl coming to the Switch uh, this next week. All right. Is it next week already? Yeah, pretty soon. Yeah. Yep. Um, the event is going to run from the 16th through the 21st, so this will almost take us through the end of the month. But all event long, half incubator distance and one-third super incubator distance, which is fucking great. And according to my math, that means that a uh, a 12K egg will hatch really quickly. I don't know the fucking math, but that it would it's going to be quick because one-third super incubator, it's like a super-duper incubator. That's what they, that, that's that, there's the missed opportunity. That's what they should have called it. Super duper incubator. It's <laughs> super duper duper. But Adam, uh, costume Pokemon will have a collection challenge. A bunch of costume Pokemon. Are you excited? I'm so excited. And I just can't. Turtwig, hide it. Chimchar, and Piplup wearing Lucas hat, and Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup wearing Dawn's hat will be available over the length of this event and split up into two pieces. But. Oh, there's also going to be Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplop, Piplop onesies in the Avatar shop. Did you see the images of these? They're fucking fantastic. Yes, they right, are. Good, but I'm not going to buy them. Cool. No, me neither. Uh, this event, uh, like I said, is cut in half. Uh, the 16th through the 18th, that's the diamond portion. So th- this is the spawn pool for that first half. This is when you're going to be able to get the starters with Lucas's hat. Um, 
You have Seal, Murkrow, Puccienna, Bidoof, Cricketot, Boneri, and Stunky. So Stunky's the only one in that pool that can't be shiny. Uh, the If You're Lucky quote-unquote Pokemon are Scyther, Larvitar, Plant Cloak, Burmy, and Buizel. So Larvitar in the wild is always fun. Uh, raids are getting revamped, um, highlighted by Kranidos and Gibble in one star, Tyranitar, Lopunny, and Gallade in three star. And then at this time we'll have, this is when it flips over to Cresselia and Mega Lopunny. So lots of shiny hunting going on here in raids, but, you know, Tyranitar is always great. Kranidos and Gibble will be very popular in one star. I'm, I'm sure everyone's going to do plenty of yes. those. Yep, and the fact sure. that we have Mega Low Punny and regular Low Punny is in three star, I'm sure a lot of people will do that as well just to get, you know, trying to get the hundo. All right, Adam, the best part of this event. Are you ready? I'm ready. 7K eggs, Badoo, Bonsley, Hapini, Happiny, whatever the fuck you call it, Riolu, and Mime Jr., Global release for Mime Jr. and all of these Pokemon are of the same rarity tier. So wow. that means if there's five potential Pokemon, Badu, Bonsley, Hapini, Riolo, Riolu, and Mr. Mime or Mime Jr., that's five Pokemon. Each one will have a 20% you know, chance of hatching. That's pretty good odds for Mime Jr. And it can be shiny. Ooh. So... I've sat on a whole bunch of fucking incubators, super super incubators for a while. I will definitely be going for this, even though it's I fucking hate eggs. I I definitely want that. I I at least need, I'm not even gonna be mad if I don't get the uh, the shiny. It's just like give me the mine junior so I can fill in the fucking decks. Like just give it to me, give it to me. So are <laughs> yes, you, you're, so you're okay. This. You're okay with it. Okay. Yes, okay. I'm fine with it. Uh, field research will have bag on, um, shield on. Uh, and the starters with Dawn's hat uh, and uh, Sandy and Trash Cloak Burmy. So the Lucas's hat will be in the wild and Dawn's hat will be in field research. Now, Adam, this event covers all the areas, right? Raids, research, spawns, eggs, all that shit. Yes. This is just the first half of the event. What are your thoughts on this? Because this is based around costume Pokemon... I know you're 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 sour on that. Typically, I, I don't know. Is there enough going on here outside of the costumes that there, you're still going to enjoy it, or will you just buckle down and go for the shinies with the costumes? I'd say that I'd go harder for the like eggs. I don't think the costume Pokemon specifically really... for Mime Junior though. Or... Yeah, yeah. I don't think the costume Pokemon really uh, do anything for me. See, I, I've learned to to love not even the costume, but the shiny costume chase. That's what I've been pretty consistently going for over these events. That's what I end up going for. So give me the costume shiny. And it's like, that means that if there's a, sh a costume Pokemon on the map, I'm probably going to click that first because that's, you know, that's the hunt I'm on. But uh, I don't know. I figured that there's so, just, just a fucking ton of shit going on. But um. Tons of potential shinies here. Um, I don't know. Could this be like true fan service? Like they're playing into the fact that Diamond and Pearl have been wanted for so long. And it's the, like that game itself is fan service in general. So what they do is they give us all these fucking shiny Pokemon. Tyranitar, fucking Gibble, Kranidos. Like this is fucking, I don't know. Th this, this event has the potential to be one of the best events of the second half of this year, you know, post go fest because this spawn pool just seems really fucking strong. Yeah. I don't know. There's think, a lot of really good ones. Good. Fuck stunky, but everybody else like, is especially, cool. especially for the XL candy. You know what I mean? Tyranitar. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Give me all the fucking Larvitar. Give me all the fucking Larvitar because I need that XL. All right. Let's see what else. Uh, oh, then that's going to carry right into the shining pearl part of the event. That's the 18th through the 21st. And the spawns shift slightly. We're going to have Pinsir, Mistrevis, Houndor, Sfeel, and the starters, but this time um, with Dawn's hat rather than Lucas's hat in the wild. And the If You're Lucky Pokemon are Slowpoke, Bagon, Buizel, and Sandy Cloak, Burmy. Not as strong here. Bagon, I guess, is cool. Uh, raids are going to change slightly. Shieldon comes to one star. Solomence will be uh, replacing Tyranitar in, two in three star raids. And then still Cresselia and Megalopunny up top. Eggs are the same. 
Research has the reverse of the costume Pokemon that's in the wild, so this time Lucas's uh, hat starters will be in research along with Larvitar and Kranidos. I don't know, man. This is a massive event, and I, I just think that the spawns, the eggs, the raids, like, I think everyone's going to be doing a little bit of everything in this event, and I honestly, that for me, that's how I like it. Like, I, I really feel that everyone's going to do a little bit of everything here. Yeah. I mean, like, what, what, what I'm are you going to go for? Like, are you going like to focus said, on I'm the not, eggs? But... Yeah, I'm definitely going to go hard on the eggs. Like I said, I'm not excited about the hat Pokemon, but I'm excited for Scyther. I'm excited for Tyranitar. To be, and then I'm excited for Salamence. Like, there's Omega Tyranitar. There's Omega Salamence. Like, there's a lot of good cards coming. Or not cards, sorry. <laughs> there's a lot <laughs> of good. <laughs> sorry, I'm like in TCG mode. There's a lot of good Pokemon coming out. Like, what again, about Cresselia, like, though? Any any care for Cresselia? No, not at all. <laughs> uh, I, I, I just, I, I have just don't the shiny, really so. enjoy. Yeah, it's like I already have the shiny. I'm not so stoked on it like i'm just like where's keldeo where's shaman like just it doesn't make sense just give us give it would have been nice new. to have keldeo right after swords of justice right they won't give it to us they won't they won't but adam that was a ton of news uh we should probably take a break yeah let's because do it. that was a lot of info when we come back we'll have a quick word from our sponsor we'll go through some housekeeping then I kind of want to talk about this waste spot debacle, and uh, I'd like to hear how it affected your area, Adam, because uh, my immediate neighborhood, like my home area stops and gyms, totally impacted. So I'll share that story, and then, uh, yeah, we'll definitely turn this into a poke the bear for next week. But let's now take a quick break. We'll be back right after this. Hey, Ken. Brace yourself. For what? Winter is coming. Ooh. <laughs> it is getting chilly. All right, you ready? Another another fucking chef's kiss mwah, of Manscaped ad read for your listening pleasure. What the writers of Game of Thrones didn't want to tell you is that Bran was actually in a wheelchair because he didn't trim his balls with Manscaped. <laughs> Poor guy thought it was okay to trim his balls with a traditional razor and hair trimmer. Not sure what you want as a gift for the holidays? Well, Manscaped is the ultimate gift, and they're here to change the men's grooming game, and you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code BALLCHECK at manscaped.com. Let's just get a little golf clap for the Game of Thrones reference in the official ad read of uh, making fun of Bran being in a wheelchair because he cut his balls. I think that's uh, pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, speaking of cutting balls, so I, uh, you know, I've, I've had some accidents in my life cutting, cutting, cutting balls, <laughs> <laughs> which is really funny. But, you know, thankfully, that's over with now that we have Manscaped in our lives. Do you think your holiday spread is good? Well, it's time to give thanks to the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0, or as I like to call it, the perfect package for your package. Gifting Manscaped is the ultimate hack to become your family favorite. Manscaped has been busy and launched their refined body wash and two-in-one shampoo plus conditioner, both featuring the Manscaped signature scent. Adam, how good does this stuff smell? Okay, can I just can I just can I be honest real quick and give you my full <laughs> disclosure? You know what? Go. Why don't you go for it? Yeah, let's let's hear the let's hear the real deal. Adam uh, take on, on okay, the Manscaped no jokes. products they sent. It fe- like the body wash is amazing. It's it's like a light scent, but it's it's good. It washes up perfectly, but that's not that's not all. The two in one shampoo plus conditioner has is like my new favorite, and this is no joke. This is like my true, honest to god opinion. I have used so many different two in one shampoo plus conditioner things. And they've just straight up sucked. They've been awful. They 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 just feel gross. Like your hair feels like gross afterwards. This it feels like you're washing your hair with conditioner, and it just like your hair just feels nice and soft afterward. I, I'm it's awesome. I this is like my absolute favorite 
two and well, one. Well, that's a right glowing now. a glowing review from Adam. It's uh, no, no well, I, I, I honestly I won't I go can, back. I, I won't go back. There's no, no like no, I, I, like I my agree. other shampoo awful. It's compared good to stuff. this, and that's shampoo and like, and then I use conditioner. Nothing. Com- it's not compared. Like this is. Wow, this is a glowing review. This is crazy. This is crazy. So no, for Thank me, you, it's Manscaped interesting because I'm bald. No, dude, that, I'm, I'm bald. It's awesome, right? So I'm not. I'm not washing the hair on on the top of my head because there is none. But I'm also like built like a gorilla. So it's like I'm hairy everywhere else. Big ass beard. I'm fucking. You know, there's all shit going on all over the place. So it's like. The, you know, the two in one is good. I wash my whole fucking body with that shit. It's awesome. It's good. And it, no, no, seriously, it does smell good. The, the body wash is legit. But uh, you get 20% off and free shipping with the code BALLCHECK at manscaped.com. 20% off and free shipping with B A L L C H E C K at manscaped.com. Be thankful this holiday season for the best gift of all from Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. They really will. They really, my I'm balls literally are wearing right that now. shirt they're, right now too, and I'm also wearing the boxers. I feel. Are so you comfy. really? Yeah. <laughs> I feel so comfy right now. Listen, this is my balls talking. Thank you. See, they, they just thanked me. <laughs> Listen, they are smooth. They are smooth. All right, little uh, little housekeeping of our own to get through really quick. Uh, this podcast is powered by Patreon. You can please check ours out over at patreon.com slash Pokemon Professor, where you can support this show for as little as a dollar a month. And that $1 will get you access to our patron exclusive Discord, which is a fantastic place filled with fantastic people. And all our patrons are eligible to participate in our monthly Pigo and TCGO prize tournaments. Registration is in the Discord. We hope to see you there. We actually just wrapped up. I know we're a little late. We wrapped up our October TCGO tournament this past week. So uh, that's always good. The winner took a $50 gift card to TCGplayer.com, one of our affiliates. Awesome. Uh, but huge thank you to our gym leader tier patrons. Absolutely. Ryan, Dig, Doug, Rob, Grant, Jamal, JD, Mojo, Jojo, Magic, Carpe, Diem, Talon, Tish, TN, Comics, Wiz, Big Zaw Minus. Huge thanks to our executive producer, Paul Bott. And everyone, don't forget our merch store is open. PokemonProfessor.com slash merch. Adam, are you ready to talk about this? This way, Wayfarer shit? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So we're in Philly. Everyone starts a buzzing on Saturday morning going, what's going on here? There's uh, there's new shit showing up in the game. Why are why? Why is this this nomination that I've had sitting dormant for a year in my Wayfarer all of a sudden showing up in the game? Why is this stop that's been there for, you know, three years all of a sudden a gym? Everyone was like racking their brains. Wayfarer community was blowing the fuck up. Everyone's trying to figure out the new math, the new S2 cell layouts. Are we using an S18 or is the number of stops required to make a gym? Has did that decrease for two gyms, for three gyms like per S2? All the people were, were, were scrambling trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. But ultimately what happened was something happened with the release of Pikmin. This was all this all coincided with Pikmin. And blame it on Pikmin. I see how it is. I'll, I'm, yo, I'm gonna straight up blame it on Pikmin because this is when it happened. But they added it to the known issues page a couple days ago, and I tweeted out once when once I saw it on the known issues page, and I was like, "Yo, they're calling this a bug." So one, we know this at this point, we knew it wasn't intentional, and they were like, "We're working on a fix," and. The shitty part is what that ultimately means is what is bringing us more joy. They're calling a bug and the fix they're referring to is taking it away, even though it's brand new. But in my area where the like the turf war is big, it was like the new gym showed up and everyone's gunning for gold. The things turning over a billion times a day. Everyone is just rushing to do it like it was good. The, the community seemed healthy, like everyone was out exploring. It was great. So. They put out a tweet. This is the first tweet they put out. Said, trainers, an issue called a small uh, caused a small number of Pokestops and gyms to appear on the map that don't comply with our Pokemon Go Waste Spot inclusion rules. And we're going to talk about the inclusion rules in a second, but these are their hyper vague rules that don't reference S2 cells and the math that the Wayfinders have come to already have been proved, proven correct to how to, you know, how the game board is, is played out. So they say 
we know that some of you were excited by these new Pokestops and gyms, and we will preserve as many of these locations as possible. It says some of these Pokestops and gyms are going to be removed or updated as necessary to preserve the integrity of the game board. We apologize for any inconvenience this has caused. See more about this change here. And they link to an older post about the inclusion rules and, you know, without saying like you can't have gyms stacked on top of each other and all this and that. It's, you know, the integrity of the game board is the important thing to remember. So they link to, you know, um, a, a, a forum post kind of explaining the whole thing. It almost contradicted the tweet because it was like, All of these things that were added were going to be removed where the tweet was like, we're going to preserve some. So there was a lot of confusion. But they had said that starting on the uh, at 2 p.m. on the 10th, right, that we should start seeing things happen. And slowly but surely, since then, things have begun either changing completely or reverting to where they were before this bug, quote-unquote bug, took hold. But then today, they put up a second tweet, and I thought this tweet was very interesting. And it says, Trainers, we resolved the issue, which added a small number of way spots to Pokemon Go that violated our inclusion rates. We've also addressed an unrelated issue affecting way spots sinking to Pokemon Go, which resulted in a net increase of 11,588 way spots. Meaning, wow, when we dig into it a little further and go to the link, they said there was an accidental creation of about 45,000 way spots, primarily Pokestops, some of their some of them that shouldn't have been there. So this issue, this bug created 45,000 additional way spots in the game. People were getting home spots like their their towns were like popping off like it, everyone was loving it. But they, they're saying they fixed the error. They removed those way spots that were in violation. But because of this sync issue, they actually had a net increase of eleven thousand five hundred and eighty eight total way spots globally. So if they fucked up and added about forty five thousand. But the net at the end of the day was 11,588. That means that this sync issue added a ton of spot of way stops to the game. Now, here's my point. Where the fuck did those stops go? Because for me, I'm only seeing shit being taken away. So in my area from my house, visible from there, a stop that was a stop for years turned into a gym and then in a park, probably within the 20 feet of the next stop over was a nomination that I put in for a gazebo that was never accepted in the game, but showed up as a, as a halo Pokestop during the, when we, you know, when I got back from Philly, I was like, oh shit, new stop. And then I click on it and it's one that I submitted. I was like, holy shit, they accepted it. That's now gone. The, the one that turned into a, g- a gym was now devoted, uh, demoted back to a Pokestop. And they release a Q&A. Adam, have you had a chance to look at this Q&A? I have not. But the one, the only one that I really, really noticed was that in the graveyard, there used to be a Pokestop and then two gyms. And with the change, there's only just two gyms and one is now the closer Pokestop to it. And they had taken a gym away from. Really? So you had a net it. loss even to before the, the, the issue yes. happened. Yes. From, that's from what I could, from what I shitty. saw. Yeah. Weird. Weird. So that's why I'm confused. Cause they're like, yeah, we're netting additional stops. And I'm like, well, where the fuck are they adding any stops? Maybe that really affected uh, the emerging, emerging countries, you know, as far as the game is concerned or, rural areas where shit was like so sparse and now all of a sudden there's stuff showing i don't know but i don't know where any of these these this net eleven thousand five hundred eighty eight new way stops is because i haven't seen them but this q a is actually pretty fucking awesome 
because they ask pretty much every question that the community would ask if they had the opportunity. So they, this is a really good piece here. And remember, this is this is in the Wayfair forum. This isn't something a lot of people have read, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but it goes through this great Q&A, and it's worth a read. Now, we're going to go into this in more detail next week when we do a Poke the Bear. But I'm going to touch on some points here because I think it's pretty cool that they call this shit out. Uh, one of the questions here on the list, what will happen to my Pokemon that I currently have in a gym that may be removed? They confirm any Pokemon in gyms that were converted to a Pokestop or removed will return to you as soon as we finish implementing the update. Your Pokemon are safe. That's important. And then it says, why do these new locations need to be removed? It says you could read an overview of eligibility criteria here. And we limit the density of locations in our games in order to keep the game board from becoming too cluttered. Now, this one's interesting because I think the player's understanding of what would a, a cluttered game board would look like is probably very different than what Niantic thinks is a cluttered game board. Because we, I don't think anyone had an issue with all the extra st stops showing up. Like, it didn't feel cluttered. It well, just felt better. Okay, this brings up uh, another... St okay, so I did see one more, and that's in my downtown area. There's a new stop basically on top of another stop. So you have to, like, almost, like, play the tap and game... And it's still there? ...to, f to find out. Uh, no, that I think that one's got removed. But they okay. were there, um, I believe it was Tuesday when I, did, when I was walking yeah. around. And now they're gone. Yes. Or the one is but, gone. But they, yeah, yeah, but they see, were on top of each other, literally. So, like, you had that's to tap fine. And just that, keep yeah. pretending, like, oh, is this going to get the second one? Or, And I definitely want and think that if you manipulate the game board correctly, as far from a Wayfarer perspective, and put a, you know, a Pokestop in every S2 available cell, you can have a very robust place to play. Like, I don't think you're doing a disservice by by saying that you can only have one in each S2 cell. But more wouldn't hurt. That That's what that's really what it comes down to. Yeah. In the Q&A, and I thought this was interesting, they, they put two questions that are like very personal questions that you would hear on social media a lot. The first one being, why not keep all the way spots? Players seem to like them. It feels bad to have something added to the game board and then have it taken away. So they, they kind of like call out that question that every pretty much everyone is asking. Like, why take them away? Kind of like the uh, the 40 meters thing. It says, we understand it feels bad to see a new Pokestopper gym appear in EU and then see it removed. But unfortunately, this change is necessary to keep the integrity of the game board. And it goes into detail. We'll touch on this next week, but I just I want you to keep that fresh in your mind. The integrity of the game board. Because that's what we'll dig into next week with Poke the Bear. But then the next question I thought was great here, it says, there's plenty of other bugs in the game that I want Niantic to address first. Why prioritize making this change? Dude, That's I think it's great that they're putting this in an official release. Because these are clearly questions the community is asking. That in the past, prior to Niantic saying, hey, we're going to be more connected to our community, we're going to listen more, they would never address this shit. We would all see it, but Niantic wouldn't address it. So it felt like no one was being heard, right? Now they're at least addressing it. And they say they call themselves out. We know we have a lot of work to do to fix bugs and ongoing issues. Fixing this error could be done quickly and efficiently to keep our game board in a healthy state. Rest assured, we're also hard at work addressing other known issues. I like that. I thought this this FAQ was amazing. But Adam, my question to you is, do you think that the removal of some of these stops is directly related to the quote unquote integrity of the game board? Like, can you can you level with Niantic here and see what they're saying? Does it make sense to you? Or does it did you think that like even if there was twice as many stops, like it wouldn't have an adverse effect on the quote unquote game board? I have to really think about this before I say anything, really. But I mean, I understand. I I feel that like I understand where they're coming from, and it's like 
they got turned like stuff got turned into Pokestops that wasn't really supposed to. See, you've never played Ingress. Right, so you don't right. know the, well, I the have full... played Ingress. I just well, didn't play hardcore. Well, this is what I recommend. And everyone, I mean, you should honestly all have an Ingress account. Like, you might as well fucking download and start an account. But I always find it interesting when I'm in a new location, I turn on Ingress and see what the what the, the game board looks like in Ingress. Because they don't follow the same rules as Pokemon Go. You can be way more clustered in Ingress with way with waypoints than you can in Pokemon Go. That's why a lot of shit gets accepted in in Wayfarer, but doesn't show up in in Pokemon Go because it's showing up in Ingress or it's showing up in Pikmin now, you know. But you look at Ingress and there's fucking tons and tons and tons and tons of waypoints. So it's like, I don't like how come the integrity of the game board is different for for Ingress than it is for Pigo. I don't know. That's what it's worth talking about with Poke the Bear. This is a very interesting one, so we implore everyone to uh, to reach out and uh, let us know how you feel here, and definitely check in with our socials because I'm going to be putting the Poke the Bear up this weekend. Yeah, this is a good one. It I really don't, I don't really because... know how I feel. You know, and, and don't get me wrong. I don't want shady shit happening in the game, and if I see shady shit, like people moving gyms, or a clustering gyms just so they're on top of each other so it's easier for radar or whatever the case may be. Fuck that. I don't agree with any of that. Like, don't do that. That's bad. People, you know, cheating the system to, you know, move a location to allow it to, to be in the game because uh, they have to move it 20 feet over in this direction to get it out of the S2 cell and into an empty S2 cell. Like, yeah, I don't like any of that. I don't like moving locations. I do want it to be accurate and represented well because ultimately... When this metaverse comes out, oh, we didn't even talk about Lightship, but when the metaverse thing happens and we're actually using scanned data in real time, we're going to fuck ourselves if we're telling the game that this Pokestop is here, this mailbox is here, but in actuality, it's 20 feet down the road. <laughs> so I do I do that's want stuff right. to be... At, well, that's what I'm saying. So it's like the game is going to be like, all right, scan this. And we want to build this mailbox here in our in our mirror world, in our meta. And there can't because it's not really there. So I do want the game to be accurate. But I wish they would go into more detail on what they mean and how they determine the integrity of the game board. I'm so intrigued by that. Because, like, picture your, your normal grind spot, right? The, a place like where you went with, with Casa de Cubone. Right? You're playing, yeah, you're doing stops. All right. Now, picture that had tw twice as many stops in that same area. Like, literally take the number of stops and double it. Would you feel that it was overwhelming or too much? Would you feel like it would be excessive to where you feel the integrity of the game board itself was fucked? Or would it still feel okay? If, if there were double the amount of stops, I'd say it'd be a little much. Um, if it were 25% more, I'd be fine with that. Cause then it's, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem as clustered. Like yeah, I like, I, I like the cluster stops where you can hit like four or five from one spot, but yeah, triple lure. 10, hell yeah. Hitting 10 from one spot. Like that just doesn't feel right. She's, I, I don't know. I, I just, I, thought that they would have even said okay going forward we'll make we'll make sure that our rules are upheld but anything that was added to the game will just keep but no they they actually they dialed the shit back so i, I was very surprised Listen, they when did they what did they that. said they were going to do end of story i and they were do, clear I agree. about it they were very clear about I, it i absolutely agree they they were forthcoming they gave us a couple days heads up starting at this time this is going to happen. Stops will start going away. And then, like, the sync happened, right? And, like, the fucking Niantic, like, community, like, everyone, like, froze and was, like, looking around, like, what, what's still here? What's gone? What's there? What's here? You know? And uh, the first day when I got home from work, my shit was still there. The, the, the stop, the brand new stop was still there. And the stop that got turned into a gym was still there. I was like, oh, shit. I guess we made the cut. And then the following day when I woke up and drove to work, they were both reverted. I was like, oh, shit. 
I was like, they caught the axe. I was like, damn. The people really got excited because they got like their their work spawn approved or their work stop approved, something like that. So whew, this is a tough one. This this really is a good topic. Cause I don't know. I don't know how many people would side with Niantic if that's a thing on this one. I think everyone would want more stops. I don't know how what the experience would need to be like for me to say like, ah, this is kind of, you know, I don't, I, you know, the, I feel like the, the game board has been hijacked or it's been taken advantage of. I don't know what that would look like to me. How many does it have to have? Good fucking shit. But definitely look out for Poke the Bear. Check out our socials. But uh, Adam, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We appreciate everyone for checking out the show. You can email us, info at luredup.com. You can leave us a phone call, uh, voicemail, picture, video, anything, 732-835-8639. Make sure you check out luredup.com for everything that's going on with the show, Pokemon Professor for everything that's going on with the network, pokemonprofessor.com. And uh, Adam, I, I do believe that's it. Yeah, I'm ranked 13 in PvP right now. I'm Yo, trying. son... We're starting our Brawler Cup, and we were waiting for you. Did you get our tags, dude? Oh, I didn't get your tags. I'm sorry. We were like, if we get one more person, we could have a five-round tournament. Like, let's go. I was like, cough, cough, tag Adam, tag Adam. Now, I even said, like, it would be a damn shame if everyone tagged Adam right now. (laughs) Okay, okay. Yeah. Jump in there so we get a five-rounder. Okay. You got it. All right. Everyone else, keep training trainers. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you next week.